Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here, how to find coefficient of correlation for x and y data by using Pearson's correlation formula. This is the problem. This is very easy problem. So first of all, construct the table. So like this. So in the first column, take x values. Second column, y values. Next, x square values. Next, y square values. Next x values. Only this value is is needed for to calculate coefficient of correlation by using Pearson's correlation formula. Now fill all the values here. X values are four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Next y values is two, three, four, six, ten. Next to find x square values. Four square, sixteen, six square, thirty six. 8 square 64, 10 square 100, 12 square 144. Next, y square values. 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, 6 square 36, 10 square 100. Now product x and y values in the last column. That is 4 into 2. That is 8. Next, 6 into 3, 18. 18 into 4, 32. 10 6, 60, 12, 10, 120. In the next step, find sum of each column values. Means sum of all x values, sum of all y values. So like that. So that is sum of all x values. That is summation of x. That's equal to 40. Next sum of all y values. That is equal to 25. Next sum of all x square values. That is equal to 360. Next sum of all y square values that is equal to 165. Next sum of x square values last column that's equal to 238. Now write Pearson's correlation formula. So that is this is the formula for calculating coefficient of correlation by using Pearson's. So this is called as Pearson's correlation formula. Now substitute all these values in this equation. So then we get R equal to So first of all, I am going to calculate numerator individually. So numerator is n into summation of x y minus summation of x into summation of y. Substitute all the values here. So n means number of data points. So totally one, two, three, four, five. Five data points are there. So that's why n equal to five. That is five into summation of x y is two thirty eight. Minus summation of x is forty, and summation of y is twenty-five into twenty-five. Five into two thirty-eight, nothing but one thousand one ninety minus and forty twenty-five, nothing but thousand. So that's equal to one ninety. So this is the numerator value. Next, calculate denominator. That is root of. So n x square, n summation of x square, n is five. So five into summation of x square is three sixty minus next summation of x whole square. So for this value, apply whole square. That is forty square into next n into summation of y square, n is five. So five into summation of y square is one sixty five. Minus summation of y whole square. Summation of y is twenty five. For twenty five, apply square. This twenty five square. So by using calculator, this value becomes forty thousand. So by applying it, we get two hundred. So numerator is one ninety. Denominator is two hundred. So that is equal to here one ninety by two hundred. By simplifying this, we get R equal to 0.95. So R means coefficient of correlation. That is, we got 0.95. So between x and 5, the coefficient of correlation is 0.95. This is the process of simplification. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.